One of the exciting opportunities that comes from traveling and attending events such as the Cattle Industry Convention is a chance to see agriculture in a different part of the country. If that intrigues you, then you should sign up for the pre-convention ag tour that will take place just ahead of the convention on Monday, January 29th. Now, Russell Nemitz takes us to one of the stops that will be part of that ag tour. Russell? Well, agriculture here in Arizona is over a $10 billion industry, and for folks making plans to join us in the area for the 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show are going to be treated to a taste of Arizona agriculture on the pre-convention ag tour. And one of the stops this year is Kaywood Farms near Casa Grande, Arizona, and we're lucky enough to have one of the members of the family with us, Nancy Kaywood. And Nancy, thanks for inviting the Cattlemen to Cattlemen team out to your farm. And we're standing in a beautiful field of cotton. Let's first talk about Kaywood Farms and your family's operation, which has been around for a while. Yes, the farm was purchased in about 1930 from my grandfather. Uh, his name was Louis Story, and then my dad sort of grew up on this farm and went to the University of Arizona and then had to serve in the war, came back and far started farming west of Casa Grande. And then he um, eventually retired, but he was gifted this farm. And when my son was 11, he made the announcement that he wanted to farm. And so my dad put him on a tractor at age 11, and he thought he'd cure him, but he got worse. He got it. And so he's, he farms this farm plus several other farms, and he's in the custom baling business for alfalfa. Plus, he's a paramedic and firefighter. Absolutely. Well, all of you are very busy men and women. And as we talk about agriculture, a lot of folks who are coming into the state for this convention are coming in from all over. And we don't necessarily think that agriculture plays such a big role here in Arizona, but it really does. Uh, talk about some of the crops you raise on this farm and, and what other farmers and ranchers are doing in this part of the world. You bet. Uh, Casa Grande, we farm a lot of cotton and we farm a lot of alfalfa. There's a lot of wheat grown here. And in the summer, there's silage corn. There's also some Milo maize that's being grown in this area. Well, I have to admit that this is truly my first interview with a cotton farmer. And the pre-interview, we were you were explaining what goes into raising a, a beautiful crop of cotton like the one we're standing in. Uh, for our viewers at home, talk about all the multi-purposes of, of the cotton crop itself and this wonderful fiber that so many people use every day but might not even understand where it comes from. Oh, you bet. Um, when I, I'm going to show you a cotton bowl. So I'm going to pull a cotton bowl. And we all think of this as where the, as this is the end of the cotton. This is the fiber. This is where your um, shirts and your towels and your uh, blankets and comforters come from. But if you open this up, there's seed in here and there's a whole different market for seed. First of all, whole seed can be fed to the cattle industry. Cows will eat this with the little tiny fibers. The little tiny fibers are called linters, and out of linters, you can make um, money. 75% of your American currency <laughs> is linters, and 25% of it is linen. Now, other thing is cottonseed oil, and the very first product ever made out of cottonseed oil was um, Crisco shortening. It stands for crystallized cottonseed. And then ivory soap, that soaps, the soap that floats is full of cottonseed oil. It's considered heart healthy by the American Heart Association. My goodness, don't be telling everybody about <laughs> money coming from a cotton field. You have a bunch of politicians over That's running right. you every single day wanting some of it. You know, but you also pointed out an interesting fact that uh, all of your cotton now is really GMO. Yes, uh, the we are required by the state of Arizona to plant GMO cotton. And the reason for that is, uh, well, you get higher yields, you get less insects. And so in the long run, we're going to get more money and we're going to get higher production. Nancy, education has played a big, big role in your entire career, both on the farm and off the farm. Talk about the significance of what you people do here at Kaywood Farms in the area of educating both young and old. Oh, you bet. Um, it's my personal mission in life to nurture an awareness about natural and renewable natural resources, including agriculture, so they can be conserved, managed, and available for future generations. Well, I think the cotton industry, cotton farmers, whether you're raising cotton, alfalfa crops, or certainly those of us in the U.S. beef cattle industry, we've learned that consumers, folks outside of the industry itself, they want to hear from the actual rancher and farmer themselves. And so being able to tell our story is, is, is really becoming more, more important every day. 
We have to tell our story. And so many people come out here and they've never been on a farm before. And they're so excited to get out here, but they don't realize what the farmer goes through to get this into the ground, all the way to the cotton gin and then off to the mills for their clothing. And they're so surprised at how many times we go through the fields with tractors or um, the fact that we don't like to use spray if we can possibly avoid it. So things that we do to control insects and um, weeds and the fertilizers that we have to put on, they don't understand that process. So when they come out here, most people say, oh, I'm so glad I came out here because now I know and appreciate how my clothing got from this field to the shelf. Well, it's been an amazing experience for me and our entire Cattlemen to Cattlemen crew today, and we thank you, and we hope that more people will join us out here on, on the tour for Kaywood Farms. And if they can't, though, and they want to learn more, I bet you're, you're available online through social media. Give us some of those details before I let you go. You bet. You can look under kaywoodfarms.com, and that's C-A-Y-W-O-O-D, and we're the number one attraction for Cotton Farms. And so anyway, yes, please come and see us. We'd love to tell our story. All right, well, thank you, Nancy Kaywood, part of the Kaywood Farm Team uh, here in the greater Phoenix area. Just one of the many stops on this year's pre-convention ag tour. We hope that you'll join us. And as we've been saying, pack your boots and blaze a trail to Phoenix, Arizona, January 31st through February 2nd for the 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show. With that, we'll go ahead and send it back to you, Kevin.